Welcome to Adventures with Captain Ray Kelly. On this adventure, we head to the state of New York and we're going to go out to Long Island. And I'm going to fly drones at a secret spot on Cap Tree Island. I'll be flying with my good friend, Rob Kamada. Rob and I will be getting some shots of the Robert Moses Tower as well as the bridge. I'll be flying my Mavic 3 and probably flying his Autel Evo 2 Pro. We checked the UAV forecast and we were good to fly. Hi, welcome to Adventures with Captain Ray Kelly. I'm here at a secret spot. We got the drones set up. We're almost ready to take off, but uh, you'll never guess who I'm with. I'm with who's Rob here? Kamada. Who's here? Who's, who's uh, How Rob's you doing, a, Rob? Rob's a crazy guy. Man. I'm not, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to flying this spot. What about you? This I haven't flown here before, so I want to get up and see what shots we can get. All right, Rob. Rob's ready to take off. Hotel Evo 2 Pro. Take a look at it. Beautiful day here on Long Island. Establishing the home point. And there he goes. He's up and he's out of here. And it didn't take long and I was taken off. And you guys know I like doing a reverse droney on takeoff. That's the Robert Moses Causeway right there. It's an 8.1 mile long parkway in Suffolk County, New York, and it's named after the master builder and urban planner Robert Moses. This is the Great South Bay Bridge, and it's often confused with the Robert Moses Bridge, but we'll give you shots of the Robert Moses Bridge shortly. This was my first time flying here, and as you can see, it's a beautiful place to fly. It's right outside, the boundaries of the Cap Tree State Park, which is right there. And that's the Robert Moses Bridge off in the distance, along with the Robert Moses Water Tower. Let's zoom in for a closer look. The Robert Moses Water Tower is located in the center of the traffic circle at the end of the Robert Moses Causeway, which is the bridge to the island. The Italian style water tower is 202 feet high and it has a well of over 1,100 feet deep. Construction on the tower was completed in 1968 and is topped with a beacon that can be seen for many miles out in the ocean. I always try to get shots of the other pilot's drone that I'm flying with and there's Rob's Autel Evo 2 Pro. He was getting nice shots as well. And of course you have to do a little boat following. Cap Tree Island is a cool spot to fly from. Rob ended up landing his drone first, and he had a spot on landing. Nice job, Rob. I really didn't want this flight to end, but I brought my Mavic 3 back home also. And we 
we all know, it's not that easy to get a spot on landing manually. Let's see how I do. Spot on landing. I also want to say thank you to Rob because he taught me how to do a hyperlapse. I'll close the video with a few photos of the day. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch my weekly live stream on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern. And let's get kids hooked on drones, not drugs.